juice, I cannot go to the heat. Look, I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. But I'm getting too nice with this Ain't no way that I'm going outside My pockets been heavy as shit What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be Don't forget to hit that like That like That like, comment, share, and subscribe button Whenever you roll up to the channel And while you at it Hit that post notification button for your boy So whenever I drop You can hop up in the truck and roll with me See what's poppin' Thursday morning, February 22nd, 28 year old truck driver Clyde Young drove his big rig back to his company yard, you guys. Parked his truck, got in his car, left for the day. As he was leaving, he got on his phone, called his dispatch, and let his dispatch know I just returned my truck for the day. And in my truck is a dead body. My girlfriend. Check this out. Come on was a very young man, you guys. Then messed his whole life up. This is crazy, M2T. His girlfriend? Oh, man. Come on, y'all. We got to run this down. We got to see what's going on with this. Fox, Fox News put a report out. And we finna check out and see what they report got to say. All right, you guys. Here it is. Let's run it. Let's run it down. A murder charge was filed Thursday against a Godfrey, Illinois man who is believed to have killed his girlfriend earlier the morning and died following a standoff at a West Alton gas station. According to the St. Charles County Police Department, police received a service, a service call around 3.15 a.m. Thursday morning about a shooting in the 1000 block of North Service Road. Just before 4.40 a.m., police claimed Cloudy Young, 28, called dispatchers to report a woman mm -hmm. was dead at that location. Mmm. Officers found the woman shot to death inside of a 2023 Freightliner semi truck. The vehicle had been leased to Young, and he was re he was the registered operator as of Thursday. Late Thursday afternoon, the victim was identified as Amy Lynn Dela Cruz of Cadet, Missouri. Dela Cruz was 47 years old. The probable cause statement says Young told police that he and Dela Cruz were in a romantic, romantic relationship. He said the two got into an argument the night prior and that he got his shotgun and shot Dela Cruz in the head. Mm, mm, mm. Corporal Barry Bell, a spokesman for the St. Charles County Police Department, said Young again contacted them from a gas station in West Alton and stated he would turn himself in to the Mad to the Madison County Sheriff's Office, but then changed his mind and said he will surrender to St. Charles authorities. This individual was a person of interest in an investigation in Forestdale from early this morning, Bell said, when the officers were attempting to discuss with him or get him to talk to us, he made a decision that he did not want to speak to our investigators anymore. Police applied for arrest warrants in the St. Charles County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, charged Young with first-degree murder and armed criminal act action. St. Charles County Police met Young at a Phillips 66 gas station along Highway 67. Dispatcher said Young told him he had a weapon in his vehicle. When law enforcement arrived, they set up a perimeter around the gas station and began talking with Young to get him to surrender. After approximately three hours of negotiation, Corporal Bell said Young went back to his truck and began to retrieve a firearm. Bell said Young fired shots and an officer fired one round in his change. I need y'all to check this out real quick. 
This Phillips 66 you can see behind me is where this standoff took place for about the last three hours or so. And lanes of both the Lewis Bridge and the Clark Bridge here in West Alton have been shut down, which is really limited traffic in this area as for three hours or so, negotiators were trying to talk to that suspect. For most of it, we could see the suspect standing outside of his car at the gas station, kind of leaning on his driver's side door. This standoff ending at about 11 a.m. when we watched SWAT off officers and two armored vehicles ran that suspect's car at the same time. We then also heard a few shots fired and can tell you that suspect is dead. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy, M2T. Young was pronounced dead in the parking lot. Police claim Young died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. During the standoff in West Alton, authorities blocked traffic to both the Lewis and Clark Bridge Highway 67 as precaution for drivers. Residents remained in shock. Messed up situation, M2T. Here it is. We got a young a young man that was with his girlfriend off in his truck that then had a whole argument and he ain't pull out no maze. He ain't pull out no knife. He ain't pull out no bat. This man pulls out a shotgun and shoots this woman in the head. Who does that, M2T? We gotta talk about this. Why y'all while we while we finna run this down, hit that like button for me one time, M2T. Hit that like button one time for you, boy. Let me tell y'all something. When it comes to being a truck driver and you have your significant other with you, a lot of times we're already used to being by ourselves. So when you got somebody else in the truck, you know, it, you, you're, it, it's a whole nother person that's in this truck with you. So you're dealing with emotions. You're dealing with personality. You're dealing with character. You, you just, you're dealing with another person in their ways. You know, it, it, it's, it's kind of like, you know, with the uh, truck driver trainee that shot his truck driver trainer. You know, two, two people, you know what I mean, that's in the same confined space having to deal with each other. In this case... It's a young man and his girlfriend. A lot of companies, they don't even allow you to bring your spouse or your girlfriend or significant others with you because they know that it can be a distraction. You know what I mean? A lot of companies have policies on that. However, they they are starting to become a little more leniency because they, they are becoming aware that if truckers have their spouses or their girlfriends with them, then they tend to work a little better sometimes, you know. They have somebody with them. They can keep them company. Kind of help their day flow smooth, M2T. You know, I'm sure some of you guys' companies, you know, allow you guys to have y'all significant other with you, you know. Um, my wife ride with me at times, you know. Um, and I do work better. I'm one of the truckers. I work better when my wife is with me because she keeps me on point. You know what I mean? However, like this situation, I am having to, you know, deal with my wife in her ways, you know, but I, I, I know how to deal with my wife, you know, you know, everybody, you know, it's to each his own, you know what I mean? So this young man got his spouse with him and then he got into a full blowout. Now he's 28, M2T, he 28, she 47. So the age difference is already, to me, in my opinion, it's already kind of alarming because you got an older woman, I'm sure, that's seasoned, you know, wisdom and knowledge, you know, and you got a younger man that's still, you know, you know, fresh off the bottle, fresh off the nipple, you know, he fresh off a Similac still trying to figure out who he is. So I'm trying to, I'm wondering what the hell is a 47 year old doing with a 28 year old? I'm just, I, hey, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tripping. You a cougar, you know what I'm saying? You on the prowl, you know what I'm saying? You looking for some, some young stamina? Hey, do your thing, you know? I ain't, I, I'm not saying, you know, there are some, some young mature people. I'm telling you, there are some young mature people that's way more mature than some of the some of their elders. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So I ain't taking nothing from it, but it is alarming, you know, to each his own. So 
Sometimes opposite attract, and that's okay. So he, she's in the truck with him. You know, and they had a full blown out, a full blow up. You know, so I'm just wondering. You know, like, you know, because she has said what? What possibly could she have said? Because he definitely got into his feelings. You know, you know, there's there's no reason that a man should be getting physical with a woman. You know, especially in excessive way like that there is no way you know so this just my opinion y'all let me know how y'all feel about this m2t let me know how y'all what y'all think about it hit that like button while you at it you know let me know what y'all think because i feel like in my opinion he got into his feelings about whatever they was arguing over you know what i mean which he didn't state that you know what i mean when when he called 911 and told them that they got into it he ain't say nothing about what they was arguing about but whatever it was, he had to get into his feelings. And he, she must have been chopping him up with them words. And he, you know, he just didn't just get boom. You know. And then takes this woman to his job and leave this woman there like that. You know, I'm telling you something about domestic violence, man. Domestic violence is something very serious in America. You know, you need to know who it is that you're dealing with. You know, you need to know who you're dealing with. I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around 47 year old being with a 28, but it does happen. You know what I mean? So, but it, it's just like, you know, I, I know he got in his feelings. He did this to this woman. You know, that domestic violence, I mean, we got to be, you got to know who you're dealing with. You know, if, if, if you know that, you know, you and your girl be arguing a lot. Don't bring your girl in the truck with you, man. You know what I mean? Don't do that, brothers. You know what I mean, truckers? You know, if if you know that, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, y'all ain't on the same page, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to look at the longevity, you know what I mean? Even if she, well, babe, can I go just this one time? You know, if you know that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Things ain't lining up right with y'all. Don't, don't, don't do yourself like that, brothers. You know what I mean? And then it is weak men, in my opinion, that would do something like this. He just, he just, oh, he just weak. Just a straight weak idiot. You know, definitely giving me a uh, mental illness. Definitely. Just hate that she had, that they had to happen to him. You know, you know. And then, as y'all can see, he go into a full standoff with the police. He get to reaching, you know what I'm saying? He get to doing all kind of stuff in the standoff. They got him surrounded. With, what you go? Well, I'm, I'm going to turn myself into, well, no, no, no. I don't want to talk to y'all. No. You know, it's, just, it's giving mental illness, man. It's giving straight idiot. You know, you know you done did this. You done put yourself in a messed up situation. Now look at you. They shoot one time. And he shoots his damn self. Murder, suicide. You go do this woman like this, then you go kill yourself. That's a coward, M2T. That's a coward. If you go do something, stand on your business. You know, stand on that. And if that's, you know, you know, that's my opinion. I'm going to stand on it. You know, one thing I'm definitely not going to do is kill my own damn self. That ain't happening. That's a coward. So here it is. This is where we at, M2T. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this story. Let me know what you think about what kind of state of mind this young man was in. Let me let me know what y'all think, what y'all feel about Miss Dela Cruz even being with him. You know what I mean? Somebody that young. You know, how did they even meet? How did they even end up being together? You know, let me know if it, if it, how things could have went different. You know, just get in them comments and let me know how you're feeling and everything. And and let's 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 run this on down, them two T. All right, you guys. Hey, shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to all our subscribers, man. We all family over here. You know what I mean? Get in them comments and y'all chop it up with each other, you know. And uh shout out to the ones that just be pulling up to the channel. You know, hopping up in the truck and rolling with us and chopping us up, chopping it up with us. I appreciate you guys. All the love and support has been phenomenal, man. Y'all don't know. 
We grateful over at M2T. This ain't just our channel. This is y'all channel. And we go keep it going. We go keep it moving. Uh, merch is coming soon. So be on deck. Be ready. Um, get them comments and let me know what y'all think about the story, M2T. All right? Until next time. It's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around.